Hello everybody, welcome to the grand final of the first NAF Rules Cup. We've got Dimmy G with the Undead, won the toss, choosing to receive, up against Will King with the Lizard Men. And in the booth is Fimea. Hello. Hello. Fans for the first NAF Cup Rules of Blood Bowl 3. Here you are, finally, Dimi G, one of the top 50 coaches in Hastings, <laughs> England, is rich the final versus a pink team of lizards. <laughs> the question is, has Will King 15 true master lizards? <laughs> nearly, he's got five block and one guard, so he's nearly a true master, but, but I hear too, much, too much block, too much block. <laughs> I hear the true masters of Lizardmen only have three block players. <laughs> yes, yes, I mean, because... I mean, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, that's an in-joke about some uh, silly Discord shenanigans, but uh, yeah, this it's a decent team, isn't it? So this was Eurobowl rules. This was like a zero package build for each of them, actually. Um and Lizard's completely bog-standard, right? 12 players, 2 rerolls, Apo. Um, not c nearly bog-standard. He, he didn't go 6 block. He went 5 block and a guard. And uh, Dimmy also bog-standard. Um, undead, no guard on the mummies. A guard and a tackle light. And wrestle and 3 block ghouls. So very interesting that 2 uh, zero package people got to the final. There you go, Dimi doesn't need a package <laughs> at all. So we said, and Will King 15, obviously, neither. <laughs> yeah, it's a strange way for the world to find out, but there you go. There you go, yeah, package lazy final here. <laughs> Ooh, the quick snap. That's not terrible, is it? Gets an extra assist on the Saurus. Oh, happy days for the. And then... Uh, huh. Did get an extra assist. I mean, definitely should have done, just in case things happened. Dimmy, Dimmy deviating from the lizard man carrier, yep. Yep. And now the big... Uh... Question the festival of one in nines <laughs> or the Dimmy's mummies will happen. Will Dimmy roll properly? <laughs> Dimmy could have actually got an extra block if he'd uh, if he'd used the quick snap there, but never mind. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna run around and hit a skink. Might do, but then he's he's already deep for that, isn't he? I guess he won't hit a skink. Just gonna smash things with the mummies. Yeah, he needs to protect the, his tackle piece anyway because he's gonna be a big target uh, for the leader. Yep. I don't uh, like this build actually, Royal Rimbo. Dimmy loves this. Um, I preferred the package builds that Art and Seabros used. And, uh... Oh, double pow! Double pow! That's how you start. Four. And this is how I start this game dedicated to our viewers in Niger. Okay. The country. The country. N I G E R. Only one. The, country the pronunciation. The pronunciation wasn't great for for for, for us, Fimea. Please don't say it again, Brian. I know the country you mean, but it, please, please not again. The capital is Niamey. The language is French. The currency is the West African uh, Franco, which is shared with many other uh, African countries. The national flow, what is the costus spectabilis, and the national cheese is the German stew. Mm. There you go. The problem is in Spanish, it, it's pronounced in certain way. That, yes, it's not going to be very welcoming to uh, English speaking uh, no. viewers. No. <laughs> but it's not my fault, it's a country, it's in the world. Yep, it's not Fami's fault, he's Spanish. Completely not his fault. <laughs> Hello, Coach Mark. Glorious the NAF Cup. Whoa. 
Like, uh, you know what, you were a bit like Manuel there. <laughs> Manuel, yeah. <laughs> He's from Barcelona. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, and no baguettes. Dimi can see, I can see that Dimi didn't pick up the ball. No. Rookie mistake. Yeah, so it's interesting now because like it's it's tough, right? Like, Dimi's got to protect his mummies, use use them to protect each other, and then try and get as many mighty blow hits as possible. Um, you know, he needs to bang something out because his two mummies fighting two Saurus or the Saurus and the Crocs, you know, like, whatever seven seven big fellas. Then that means the other five are going to shit on him basically. So he really does need to uh, bang out one or two. To make it uh, comfortable. Roxy got a blitz on Amami. That was a choice. Yeah, don't hate it. You know, if you can get lucky and remove one, then it's it's GG basically. If if you remove the mummy, um, but now Dimmy can punch back the mummy, uh, punch back the Crocs, and hit the Garda as well. So super interesting. You're facing seven f big fellas, but they, they, at least they haven't got a package, yeah. <laughs> Here we go, Pau, straight forward. Instant. This could be big, massive. It's absolutely nothing. nothing. But that keeps the Croxigor uh, busy for the next at least two turns. Yeah. Thanks to that uh, zombie there, uh, yes, they stay in there. <laughs> Actually, it's interesting, right? Because you kind of want to blitz the guarder, but he could blitz the blocker and then power him to here. Then he could punch him and push him forward. Then he could punch the skink, and then he could come around. Then he could punch down this Saurus as well. So that's what he has to do, I think. Not what he's done. I think it's maximizing hits, right? And maximizing, really trying to maximize the chance of getting getting lucky versus these uh, these Saurus. Oh, so he's gone for that block. Hasn't hasn't gone for the chain. It was a pretty sexy chain, I've got to admit. But it wouldn't have worked. So he's uh, he's back to where he would have been now. Is the uh, left the uh, right mummy still in danger? Yeah, that's the problem. In it by not going for the guard, uh, it you know it means that he's just getting getting hit kind of instantly. Not a lot he can do about it. Okay, now he needs to focus and pick up the ball properly. Yeah, yeah, tackle, yeah, tackle more. It's a white. Good. Tackle guard. Blodge. Rodge. That's his that's his six skills, right? Six skills. Every every edge three player is skilled for Dimmy's team. Um but that's very standard NAF, right? Three block and one wrestle go, right? It's very standard. Dimi shouldn't be burning this. What? I like that. I like that. That was the right yeah. move. So. That <laughs> protects the mummy big time. Ooh, I'm not so sure about that one. No, that one is necessary. You, you need to, you want to keep the, the Saurus uh, busy. Yeah, that was, that because was... now he has more or less free reign. To move by down the pitch. Yeah, that one maybe wasn't so good, but really like this one because without if he doesn't dodge him, then he just gets hit, pushes his guard in there, blocks this one, then like you know does whatever else he wants as well. It was really really good. Um, well, it was a really good dodge the first one. The second one, I'm not so sure about. It might not be bad. But... Well, he failed, so that makes it instantly a worse uh, bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> yep. True, true. But it was still a fifty percent knockdown instead of seventy five if he got punched, but then again it would stop him moving up onto this goal and stuff, so it's not it's not just the raw knockdown percentage, is it? Oh now we've got two Saurus coming around the corner. Oh lucky with the blogger that is Dimmy. 
Wilkin is not getting many pause there. Oh, wait. The wait, big one, the one that matter. He got the one that matter. If this is a if this is a removal, it's real bad times. Not a removal. This isn't too yeah. bad for Dimi, I guess. No, no, it is going to be complicated uh, being able to solidify his position because the Saurus are already on his side of the pitch. Yeah. But the Mammies are still there. Oh, if, oh, Kaz. Oh, oh. All right, oh, okay. Well. Regen. Oh, he regens, regens at least, at least he got the uh, something there. But yeah, 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 yeah. GG, there you go. Yeah, that's that's a rough. Like losing his guard versus lizards, even for the drive, is pretty brutal. He needs to achieve something here. Yeah, he needs to get rid of one of these saurus. It's all on the wrist. Uh... <laughs> He's all on the wrist. Ah, not even an armor break. Diced. It's so lizards are so stupid that like seven players can fight your entire team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's absolutely disgrace. I, I, I hate them. <laughs> I think they're absolutely anti the the anti blood mm -hmm. The min max uh, of a teenager. <laughs> I might have uh, pushed him out to here, right, and then moved this guy back to uh, to base him. But I guess farming him's much bigger payoff if it works. It doesn't. <laughs> Terrible foul. I would never have done it. Three, four, Okay, at least now uh, Wilkin can invest too many resources uh, punching. Uh... Oh, he's going for the mummy. Yeah, yeah. Now he can. Now he can just whack yeah, in uh, stinks yeah, yeah. to two, assist. Two dice. Easy peasy. I'd have used both skinks personally, and then uh, use the other swords to push in. Who's blitzing then? I'm bamboozled. You're blitzing with a Croxigor to free. I guess he is. Okay, that that is a zombie. Oh, and that. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not, not a big fan of that, but especially now as he's gone stupid, and now there's a gaping hole. Yeah, yeah, big, big hole that the mummy can take advantage of uh, blocking that piece. And from there, gets the mummy pow. gets the pow. That's the right square. That's the right roll, the armor break. Whoa. I mean, it's a bit of a potato if he goes does go down here, but um, no, he's not going to. You can at least like move this uh, zombie like over this side, right? So that if the croc punches and follows, it goes away. I guess the problem with that is you leave it open to chaining the crocs in, <laughs> and then knocking over your mummy with a blitz. So that's not actually that great. Oh, there you go. Dutch doing a thing. Go a bit. Mm. 
Now, unfortunately, his tackle is just getting absolutely dominated by this Saurus, which is exactly the matchup that the lizard man wants. Yep. Lots and lots of options for Will King. I quite like blitzing the Saurus into the mummy and then, like, you know, two dicing and basing the ball with the tail. I quite like that. I guess that's what I'd do. Yeah, you can manage to take down the mummy and base the ball as a rough one. Some would say it would be an instant GG. Yeah, I mean, he has prehensile tail, so... Oh, freeze the guard. Mm. I wonder if he'll be going for the... Uh... Wait, he's going to the, doing the blitz on the mummy, but with the uh, Saurus? Yeah, yeah, he can do. That's not terrible, is it? It's just I'd rather have the uh, Saurus in with tail and strength five. It's just better, basically. And uh, here comes the... Uh, oh. There you go, okay. Here we go. Gets a full power. But it's still not more right, but the ball is based for the first time <laughs> by the... Oh, no, well. okay, okay, that uh, makes things extremely interesting. Hmm. I think he might have to go this turn, like... Uh, the problem is, if he blitzes the Saurus, then it's a GFI, and it means he can't also blitz down the sideline. He, he might have to blitz down the sideline this turn. And just dodge with a carrier. He can do pretty well because he can get two ghouls down the side and then one that's already based. So I don't hate going for the ghoul. Right, like ghoul blitz in the skink, I think, is what I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not great, is it? And then one, two, three, four, like maybe there's a two of GFIs from him at the end. He could get down there, he could dodge away. He can just. I oh, he can't walk through. He's going to reposition on the other side of the beach. Oh, dear, he's gone right back on turn five. Oof. No bueno. This is almost giving up the score. Freezes tackler, which is good. Oh my god, in the oh, best possible way. Big one. Instant and this apple. is going to be instant apple. Instant full apple. I mean. Yeah, probably the delay was just making sure he didn't, you know, misclick. <laughs> but the decision was already made instantly. Champ strats. Maybe he's uh, training uh, for a draw, you know? Uh... Maybe. This is very deep on turn turn six, but still got a chance and he's still got three turns. The problem is like this is faster cool. than you. Still has a goal up the road. Yeah. That's the main problem with doing this versus lizards is they are faster than you. <laughs> Unless like you're scared and they're, they're just ridiculous. I would have preferred if a zombie had tagged the, the guard, the Saurus, and he had done a 1D with the tackle piece. Mm. And I could have put the, if it was a push, because it was a 2 plus, a 3 plus. If he was, uh, you know, to get something positive, if he was only a push, he could push it on the other zombie. Mm. But got a badly hard, so... Yep, that means it was right. <laughs> he was right.
This is like investing in cryptocurrencies only based in results. Yeah, but I mean, how else can you judge anything? Exactly. Just come at the end, look at the result, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, blitz in there. Doesn't get the pow. Dimi can breathe. Dimi can breathe. Yep. Now I guess you've got a crox block, right, to try and get the skink block. No, he's going to skink block first. Right, well, I thought moving him in first means you're doing this this skink block first, right? Because. Oh my god, me. instant full power. Disgusting uh, rolls here. Oh my god, armor break. <laughs> yeah, okay, that losing. makes a score very, very complicated. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's really hard now. I mean, last turn did it right. The fact he went back instead of trying to break through the sideline basically killed his chance of scoring. But, you know, he can make, roll a lot of dice now and maybe do something a roll and a player <laughs> yeah even most the uh the blood ball two mummies i loved um the, uh, and like tomb guardians are the same thing wasn't it i thought they were incredible but not really a fan of the uh games workshop they don't even look like mummies no. I mean, Dimmy's in range, right? Just. Dimmy's just in range for a two turn skull. But the problem is that the lizards are like, just going to swing back into his way, so. I'd say it's looking very much like a Will King stop, but not a turnover. So, probably. Slight advantage to Will King. Right now. Yeah, equity smiles in Will King's uh, direction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As things hold its breath while uh, their champ <laughs> tries to get the first uh, title. A major title? Is this a major? Uh, I mean, no, to be honest. <laughs> well, but it's a title. Uh, it's a title nonetheless. Oh, rerolls that. Interesting. Oh, now he's thinking about making another... Yes, he needed to make another one. And that's it. Will King can uh, get this Saurus on him. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Or this one. So, no, this, this one's better. So this, if he powers this zombie and get this guy onto... Onto him, which is obviously what he wants. So yeah, he can still react very well to this. Very difficult for a uh, team to score, but he still has two turns. Technical in range, he has a tackle piece. Yeah, things can happen. He has a mummy in the right spot. Yeah, it looks like the, the mummy one. isn't getting bits, is it? The tackler's getting hit here. But the mummy's still going to be able to 2D the Saurus. Oh my god, another pow. <laughs> what is this? Mm, I think stepping forward was better there, personally, but... Fair enough. He can free another Saurus, which he does. Mm. And it's a great follow-up as well on two. And now he has blocked the way for his other Saurus. <laughs> I think he just realized right now, because behind the crocs there is a piece of uh, 
<risa> Jimmy. Ah, no, no, esa no de, esa no de, de Saurus. Sorry, sorry, esa no de Saurus. I think he is okay. Either here to stop the ghoul or here to strengthen that. Gotta be one left, right? Because of this guy screaming at him, I think. Ah, oh, but then this stops. It only stops the zombie climbing. It doesn't stop the uh, gal. Massive pal. I think you probably should have followed with him, right? Get him a bit closer. Keep that zombie tied up as well. Really, really like the follow there. Kill Crocs with full power and go through. Power with your mummy and then up the Saurus and go through. Because this Saurus is three away and not two away, I think. Two away and better. Can also go off. Yeah. Now. Limited options for uh, Dimi. He has that to be there. Yeah. Doesn't follow. No, interesting. Don't like that. It's not working good for the end at all, is it? Blitz. Oof. Extremely rough for a uh, Dimi right now. Yep. He needs to create a scoring threat with uh, the ghoul on the right side, I think. Yes, yeah. That must be a dodge and run up. I can jump over this. He hasn't, but he could have jumped over, right? So I think you probably had to dodge him out and then get this this one jump over as a secondary scoring threat. Oh, yeah, true, true. True, true. Oh, he's, he's going to jump. Oh, my God. He's just going he has for to it. He has to reroll this. And he rerolls it and does it. Oh, my God, what a jump for the ages. <laughs> So I guess now he's going to try and screen it afterwards. Flip me. Flip me, Dimmy. This is... This is ballsy. He still has another free goal. Come on, Dimmy. Another uh, jump with that goal behind. <laughs> He has the jump for the screen. I think this one had to be one to the right because this guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six, G5, G5. Now it's even easier. Unless. Oh, he's going to tag him. Okay, okay. Well. I mean, he can, he can free up the Crocs. Uh, the Crocs can free up the Saurus. Or the Saurus and the skin can free up this this Saurus. But, um, yeah, probably going to get 2D on the ball. But yeah, I good mean, good effort from Dimi. Not very difficult to get the 2D on the ball, but still, rolls will be involved. Yeah. Yeah, the mummy should have followed. Yeah, well. well, no, because the, the mummy not following gave him the jump, right? So. If he'd followed with the mummy, he wouldn't true, have had the, true. Jump, the jump through. Which true. Is like his plan, I guess, was the jump, which is why I didn't do it. But I mean, I would have followed. But I mean, I'd have pushed Jimmy down the side. Jimmy seeing things too. that we don't see. The <laughs> jump. Jump, jump, jump. This will become a, the end of an era. The end of the seventh <laughs> era of the third age of the fourth epoch of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh my god, this is kings. This is kings don't know the concept of one in nine. <laughs> yeah, this was all a bit greedy before going for the ball sack, but you know. Oh no, what are you doing? No, that was your recovery. 
Oh, that was an absolutely unnecessary assist, and he has to roll this oh. against the full power. But still, there is a lot of. I didn't oh follow on it when there, but he's got three tackle zones on it. Lucky boy. Flip me. Why he put the third, the, the other uh, skin there? <laughs> yeah, I already had it today. Yeah. I think she definitely had that to respond. Dimi now has most of his team on the ground, knock it over. <laughs> this looks uh, bad, but at least Will King won't have a scoring threat. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> the lizards are right here again. Yeah, they are. I think the only play is the blitz with this, uh, with this ghoul, right? And then push him to there. And then... And pray. Pray, yeah. And here we go. That's the push. Prayer for Dimi. I think you should have followed because you don't want it to scatter there. Oh my god. If he'd followed, by the way, this one could have scored, couldn't he? Because he could have jumped and picked it up. And this is a tragedy for the ages. <laughs> now, it was unlucky from Dimi, but I think it was the wrong move to not follow, right? Because if you follow, you're a six to catch it, and you don't really want it to go there in two tackle zones, right? So, yeah. in the, whereas if you don't follow, I mean, it's really unlikely that it bounces back to you. So he was he was dreadfully unlucky that it bounced on the dead body and then to him. That was horribly unlucky. Um, but I did like the follow just just to get it out of two tackle zones, basically. And the goal, the ball, no, it no, it's not even in the tallest square. <laughs> No, there's no, uh, there's no counter score though. So at least Timmy has survived. No, there is no counter score. So at least that uh, going for uh, Timmy that will recover his guard piece. <laughs> I wonder if you can blitz, uh, if you can surf the tackler, right? Blitz the. Ah, no, he can't get stuff from the back. Oh, Kazan the goo. Doesn't regen. Doesn't Nothing regen. Incredible, incredible. It's one of the maths uh, problems <laughs> that uh, are still standing since hundreds of years. You know, <laughs> the others have been solved. The point correct question was solved, but the fact that Dimi's Gulsaf never, <laughs> never regen is uh, outstanding. <laughs> I think the best play is to 3D with the Crocs and then blitz the Ghoul. Rather than like blitzing a mummy that you probably won't do any harm to. But, uh, he's going to 2D the mummy. But yeah, he could have just 3D this and then 2D that. But 6 and 2 3s in it. Has to re roll. Use the, use the re roll. Dice. Loner. Dice. Oh, he'd already blitzed. Okay, well, in that case, he had to do what he did. Thanks. Nil, nil. Done. I am done. Nil-nil, yeah. So not a total disaster for Dimmy. Like, obviously, not what you want to fail in your offense. Um, but at least, you know, he, did, he went in at nil-nil and not one-nil down. And, uh, yeah, you know, unlucky. Unlucky to lose a ghoul, I guess, is one way of looking at it. But on the other hand, at least he only lost one ghoul, right? So he's still got 11 players. It's only a little bit of quality he's lost. And now hopefully he can, he can get to the skinks on defense and... Uh, and win 1 0 in normal time, it's possible. Will be done, can be done. Uh, the Lizards now have to defend, so they're going to have to invest many more players protecting the ball. So there will be openings for Dimi to try to destroy some uh, Saurus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a bit easier for them on defense, isn't it? They, they fight your team with seven guys and then the. The four skinks, you know, go around and do a little bit, but not much. Whereas now on offense, the, the all four skinks have to look after the ball. So, yeah, it's interesting. 
Hello, OG. OG Juicy. Welcome to the. Uh... Oh, first time watching the stream, I then you come from. Uh... You do. Yeah. YouTube's or uh, maybe not, maybe somewhere else. Yeah, YouTube. On YouTube. Seems a lot Where of people come from YouTube, doesn't it? Literally dozens of them. <laughs> yep. That's a very good kick for uh, Jimmy. A very good kick for Will King. It's <laughs> yes, a very good kick, so now he has to focus on hitting that uh, skink, which is the ready tactic. Just kill the skinks. Mm, that's what Reddit tells me. Oh, I don't like this from Will King. What are you doing? Unless there's He's a player there. Oh, okay, there's a player there. It's still not maxing blocks, so is it? It's, this is sloppy, sloppy hitting, honestly. Yeah, not worth it as a final of a tournament, but if it's not <laughs> one of the majors, I mean, okay. <laughs> and let's not forget that Dimi reached the semi final of the Blood Bowl Super League. Yeah. yeah. And lost there. So he lost in the semi final of the Blood Bowl <laughs> Super League and uh, reached the final of the NAF Cup. So that makes instantly the Blood Bowl Super League the superior uh, competition. <laughs> as long as we Sorry, need... sorry. I know Coach Morg is here, you know, but he also knows. He also knows this. It's okay. <laughs> we, we need to get. We need to keep Jimmy out of as many tournaments as possible. <laughs> 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 The further Dimmy gets in your tournament, the worse it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Banter. <laughs> and now, okay, oh. Yeah. But now, you know, Dimmy has the advantage that his mummies are very close to the action. <laughs> That's true, yeah. What Will King wants to do now is uh, is take this guy over here, right, so that if this blitz, because this is definitely the blitz, if it's a quad skull, he doesn't, and look at that, he did the absolute safe moves first. Okay, but he's doing it, he's doing it incorrect, in my opinion, blitz. But I like that he did that move first, so that was good. I don't like the one guard instead of a block. I, I think six block is better. Um, but, you know. You are not a true master of uh, blitzers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's what the Euro Ball says. <laughs> That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering what were the other three skills instead of a uh, block. <laughs> I've got because no idea. you could think guard or maybe, you know, a mighty blow or something like that, but uh, you know, people can come with something like Juggernaut or a stand firm or something like that, you know, like mm -hmm. True Master. Mm -hmm. Oh Eat it. It's a overtime format. Oh no! Oh. Well, GG, that's it. Dimi, I can see Dimi getting out of the chair. <laughs> Looking through the door of his uh, back room, checking if the washing machine is finished. <laughs> it's gonna be an early night. Oh dear. Man, Lizard is so strong. So, oh, oh, well, not all right. He has block, he has block. He's got block. And he can blitz the white, which will give him the block on the mummy. And three dice with the crocs. This is uh, pretty disastrous for Dimmy. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. Advance one a square, every square uh, counts. Yeah, I mean, you know, at least he's making things safe. But um, I definitely, yeah, I definitely want to get the three dice with, with the crocs. Uh, he's going for the bleeds. Oh, he didn't even get the push. Disaster. And that, and that saves the mummy there and mm. opens a door. Yeah. Man, the Crocs is cool, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking exactly the same. 
Yeah, Dimi trying to climb the ladder of the top 50 coaches in Hastings. Oh, oh my god. god! Absolute tilt from Dimi G right now. Oh my god, AV break too! Stunned him on a double uphill! Oh. Now, now, for a math point of view, red dice with block works 70% of the times. And working meaning, meaning you don't get the skull. But that was brutal. It was. Oh, oh, oh Dimmy, and he takes the blood down, which is fair, right? Because he's hitting the guard, so it's not like just an instant turnover. But this is brutal because now everything gets hit and like it's basically drive over. Oh dear. And this is now a chain of uh, blocks by the lizard, taking advantage of the uh, strength for. Yep. Maybe foul the mummy as well now, right? You can get a big old gang foul on the mummy. I, I would be looking to gang foul this mummy here. Yes, he, he can spare one of the little lizards, one of the... Yeah. Or can foul with the crocs so we can see the enemy. <laughs> yeah. Most diced man in blue ball. Yep. Oh, he's going for total domination there, putting the guard there. Crocs, he goes there, yep. Yeah, this is brutal. And I think he has to foul the mummy, like, it's so good to foul it. Like, if you remove the mummy, it's GG, basically. Oh, looks like he's not going to. It's not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? The co-host is Fymir! Well, he can tell you about himself. Hello, yes, Fymir. Yes, Fymir. Oh my god. How long have you watching YouTube videos? <laughs> that you don't recognize me. I've been absent for a while because I was uh, streaming Chivalry 2. Which I managed to get in the top uh, 47 of the world. Mm. In a game with thousands of players, tens of thousands, 90,000 uh, logins every day. Well, how many people are in Hastings, though? How many people live in Hastings, family? Uh, okay, let's uh, check Hastings population. <laughs> Hastings population, and uh, Hastings is a population on. 91,497 people. Oh, look at that. <laughs> basically the same. You know, Dimmy's, Dimmy's Blood Bowl prowess is basically the same as your... Uh... <laughs> yes, the Hastings population changed by 1.1% in the same period of time. It changed a 7.4% is the Southeast. <laughs> so not many people moved to Hastings. <laughs> Just quietly uphill on the crocs there from Dimmy, not bad. Tackle blitz on his skink and uh, stuns him. Not terrible, but yeah, the problem now is he's with his skinks, isn't he? He's, he's really got no choice but to just go past now and try and free up a, a Saurus over here. I didn't like this move they did. I would have, I would have definitely, like, he, like, engaged wide, right? I would have definitely focused over here. Foul this mummy, hopefully remove him, and then you're golden. Completely would have ice it would have completely isolated this mummy. But instead he put a source on him. The ball carrier is a little isolated from the Saurus. Yeah. And Evil moves the country tonight is a... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jimmy, can you pronounce it properly? Yes, Niger is 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 Niger. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I better remain silent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it's the country, not the gamer war. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yes, no, no, please, please not. <laughs> But it is a real country, isn't it? And people have accents, and you know. Yes, yes, that's, and that's, uh, that's in fact, uh, 25 million people live there. Uh -huh, there you go. 
Oh. So this is good. Gets it. I, I would just sit the crocs on the tackle. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Just sit, sit the crocs on the tackle. And he can, he, he can unlock the guard here, but he can't really do much with it. Oh, well, there's another removal. He's got to block the guard, all right, with, uh, with this one. This one can block the guard, all right. El pao del pao. Ooh. Can he eat it? He can. I mean, he can, yes. but also should he, right? Like, you know, he's got he's got two rerolls. It's one of those situations where you think, I can eat this. It's not so bad. But should you? You know, like, you've, you've got two. You've only got four more turns to play. You're almost assured of victory. So maybe you should, like, you know, reroll it and close out the victory rather than now you've freed up a, a strength three, you know, block movement six player to come back and harass your skinks. Yes, yes, he uh, free the guard player. He has a three plus to break free with a tackle piece, which mm. could blitz one of the uh, lizards uh, behind the ball. So he could put a a nice amount of pressure because he has another ghoul with dodge. Yeah. Oh, he's going for the ball. He's going for the ball. He's rolled of power. Oh my God. the power. On the sideline. Yes, the power. Into the crowd. He was in Chun's collar. Ah. This wrestle, this wrestle ghoul can go for the pickup. Oh my goodness. I mean, he's down so many players, though, unfortunately. Well, nine, I guess. We got nine. Dodge with no. a six. Yeah, no. But Hensel does nothing. Oh, my goodness. GFI. Mummy gets a full yes, power. Oh, my God. Chump, Follows. chump, chump. I mean... Crocs block is the is the best strat here, right? Just I mean, Crocs blitz is the best is the best thing to go for. Probably. Ooh. Oh no, 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 no! You can just use skinks to uh, just two D with the skink, and then that pushes you into another two D. Crazy play, though. Well done, Dimmy. Well done, Dimmy. Out of nowhere, he came with a hero, and all based on that dust dab skull that uh, Will King ate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I hate to look like a, like an I told you so big head genius, but I did say that. <laughs> Maybe he should have re-rolled that, and uh, yeah, unfortunately for him, that guard uh, didn't actually do anything, did it? It just ran up there, and it was just the uh, it was just the ghoul that did something. Funnily enough. But yeah, I think I think the mistake that Will King made was not going up this side and fouling the mummy. He went really wide, which gave him no choice but to push forward. And, uh, I mean, the pitch divided in his kings and uh, Saurus yeah. is, uh, is weird. Oh, he's got to re-roll oh! this. He has to re-roll this. Well, does he? Does he? Because Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy obviously is not going to, have to choose wrestle, so it's going to be a turn over. Yeah, but then you know, then then it's not looking bad for you, right? You don't have to re-roll this. At least you get the ball down. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Skin catches it. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, the fact that he committed the other skinks already, right? If he hadn't committed the other skinks, if it was like, you know, if let's say this was a Saurus and they had two skinks here, then I think you have to re-roll it. Because you put, yeah. you're pushing it in here and you're pushing it in here and then you skinks can come and get it. When your skinks have already activated, 
there's less motivation and then yeah look around the board Actually, okay now he has to deal on the ball with the wrestle piece yep i don't like the fact that he put the uh gold there instead of the guard piece yeah oh, oh my god of all the possible uh, results Dice. Nice going in there. Poor Dimmy. Yeah, this probably still isn't easy. For, um, Will King. I mean, he always has the option of the dodging. Yes, but yeah, uh, he could just dodge. But it will be a very lonely... Uh... Crocs, Crocs block is probably the best play, right? You can Crocs block, and if it's a... Well, no matter what it is, uh, if it's a pal, then you get 2D on the mummy, and if that's a pal, <laughs> then you free the Saurus to blitz it. But... Like they're, they're, at the end of the day, they're still just both blocks, and blocks are good, aren't they? You know, and then and if you get them, then you don't need to dodge with the ball, so you know that eliminates the absolute disaster failure state. Needs to get this well, skink up the back first, first. Yes, the first thing is only getting up that Saurus on the right and the skink. Yeah, and then blocking the tackler as well, probably. <laughs> No, no, because then you push the tackler on the other skin. So yeah, you... you don't want to push the tackler on the... So the tackler is really... Wow, he what? did that first before he stood up the skink and the saurus. Uh-oh. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, it's very easy. Better mm. than inconvenience. <laughs> yep. Definitely needs to get his turn ordering sorted here. This is very... Uh... Oh, so what he, what he can do now is, oh, he should have, if he'd followed, then this one could have been the blitz on the mummy, and then this one could have moved over, and he could have just done a 2D to try and clear, you know, instead of the dodge. I think he should definitely follow there, though, just to punch, his, punch the mummy. Is this a bit of tilt here from Will King? Like, he's abandoned his safe moves first, hasn't he? This this skink is still all the way down here. Uh, maybe he's not even uh, seen that this skink. Yeah, maybe he could just be like zoomed in like this, couldn't he? Even like this, he couldn't see him. Possible he's like at this level. Crocs block before he's. He, maybe he's forgotten this game, yeah. Maybe. Oh, it wasn't the Crocs. Okay. But it doesn't matter. It was a blockless block. A blockless block? A blockless block in the final. <laughs> and now moves the Crocs. He, he has to see. Oh, now. Now he saw that. There, there you go. I think he's just going to dodge here, isn't he? And you can't just stay and get punched by a wrestle. No. So he has to dodge. Especially because he will be 2D if he remains there, because the tackle mm -hmm. piece can just get up and that's the 2D on the board with wrestle. Yep. Now you have just arrived and you're watching this, the... Uh, Lizard needs to score up and Dimi needs to score down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd be forgiven for not knowing, wouldn't you? It's, uh, it's been pretty wild. He has to dodge, doesn't oh. he? He has to dodge into like a cage. He's basically got a cage there. On the right side. Yeah. Back where he maybe should have been, you know, a few turns ago. <laughs> I'm going down. 
Time back advantage for Dimi, big time. No, oh, he just does a 1D. Wild. That is wild. Because he can just bring in the ghoul here, punch him, chain him, and then just chain the ghoul on, right? Oh! oh. Pressure! Pressure uh, getting the best of Will King 15. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I think he is feeling the pressure. Dimmy could also uphill blitz the crocs, right? Because then he might power it as well. That's another way to get that guy in. But I think the better way is to is to block the skink here. Oh, he's just gonna just come through with this double GFI. Doesn't get him. Flip me. Dimmy using all of his rerolls on defense here to like get to oh, overtime. Oh, danger, danger, danger. Will King with two rerolls to zero advantage. Man. What a crazy game. He's not getting a net increase. He could he could one D this mummy, and then that gets an extra um, Saurus. But now this would have been the Saurus I'd be trying to free right to Blitz. So yeah, I would definitely uphill surf the goal at the end of the turn, million percent. Oh yeah. Maybe even engineer a, a, you know, two D on him somehow with, uh, like, just do a dodge and then chain the uh, Saurus. I wouldn't uh, chain the Saurus and then do a dodge. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate that. In fact, do the dodge first. I got a vision. I got a vision of the Croxigor going a uh, stupid or killing something. <laughs> I think honestly, I think one Ding the mummy here was was maybe the play, and then could have blocked the mummy to free this guy who could then blitz the bot blitz the ghoul and then this uh skin could have come into where all of you saw us were getting the hell away from ghouls and tackle whites Will he try to 2D that uh, ghoul with the skin? Nah, nah. <laughs> it's a full pow. It's really nice now having the tackle on the crocs. He might be best off not activating the crocs now, right? Crocs has got tail yeah, on the guard. Yeah, and the yeah he has the guard and the tackle there. Total control now that frees the. <laughs> now he can 2D with a ball carrier again. Yes. In but fact, it, he didn't need. He didn't, he didn't even need to follow with uh, the Saurus because the mummy had too much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he did the double rush. He's done the double rush. There you go. No fear. He's got to dodge this one out as well. He could, in fact, he could one. He could dodge him out for the one D, right? That's probably best. Dodge him out, put him there for the one D. Yeah. yeah. Here comes the one D. He's off. He's up out with the dodge. Gosh. And yeah, just don't activate the crocs. No, this is. Uh, this looks as GG as yeah. he can get. Yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty done, isn't it? Four KO'd. Um, four KO'd zombies. Wait. 
Wait for it. The, the wrestler can come through. Double dodge, triple dodge. That was a red dice, double pow. The gates of heaven are <laughs> opening for DVD. He should have uh, gone with the wrestle to do it right and then blitzed with the block because wrestle's worse for blitzing than block is. Yep. I think he forgot that the... Oh! Dice. Oh, dice. And that's all. Yeah, it's in range, isn't it? Yeah. No rerolls, no GFRs. No rerolls, but no need, no need to make any roll. Just a score. Send your emojis to the <laughs> opponent. <laughs> and that's it. GG for Wilkin 15. Mm. Yep. Yep. Congrats. Well played. Great uh, great team, isn't it? Lizards. I, I love Lizards. They're really, really strong. And uh, yeah, he was, he was very concerned. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, Dimi has the chance of the, I don't know, the, the one time miracle on a Dimi street, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the the one turn so hard with Edge three and stuff. It's probably just like um, hope for a hope for a riot. Uh, what's a timeout? I wouldn't even set up to stop the one turn. I would just set up in chevrons to stop the riot. Honestly, if I was Will King here, he's quite susceptible to a riot right now. So I would just go all in on the riot up here. And the one turn's too hard. It's, it's not even worth trying with moving seven and Edge three. It's just literally not worth trying. It's far better well, to play for a timeout. Dimi, Dimi is opposed to that, <laughs> and he's the one turner that will make Steven Spielberg cry. <laughs> like, I just think it's wrong. Like, I, I don't. What, what's the chance of a riot? Is it like one in thirty-six? Is the riot one? Yeah, in so yeah, it's a two. It's a two or a three. No, it's a two. Cheering fans, there you go. It's, I know it's a 1 in 12 for a blitz. I don't know what it is for a timeout. Someone oh, gets an estiletto. Okay. Well, uh, there you go. There you go. And. I think your 1 in 18 chance of a timeout is better than trying a one turn. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I hate that. I hate that this doesn't go back to the game. I hate it so much. Why doesn't Exit go the summary of the game? It's such. It used to. It used to. It's such a basic thing to do as well. But it doesn't. It just takes you there. But um, the fat lady did sing. Yep. Will King wins. Congrats to Will him. Will King wins. Gets the title of the first car ban. Uh, heavily Dimmy. on. Wow, Dimmy did lots of dodges. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, lots of uh, rushes. Wow. I mean, it's, it's pretty grim stuff for him when he was having to do. He was having to do scary things. Oh, look at that. Will King won without ever picking up the ball. Because <laughs> he oh caught it off God. the kickoff, no, didn't he? And then he caught go. the scatter when it was sacked. The, the, ultimate, the ultimate domination. Pick up the ball. <laughs> for losers. <laughs> I get handed the ball. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot, Morg, for organizing this uh, competition. Yeah, incredible, incredible competition and competitions, right? Naf Ladder and the uh, and the Cup inside it. Yep. So thank you very much for both. And yeah, big congrats to Will King, and uh, you know, obviously commiserations to Dimmy. Uh, yes, and now you know what this should be done is in the next cup, Lizards are banned because they already won. <laughs> mm, that's a good idea. <laughs> Um, how about limit the amount of block they can have to fall? Hey. <laughs> true master, true master uh, lizards, only three block. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Thank you very much for me. I've been glorious having you in the booth again. Oh, yes, it's always fantastic uh, to be here with everybody. Very sad for Dimi, but it was what it was. And uh, a big hello to our viewers in that country in Africa that are uh, watching here. Obviously, I'm pretty sure they have a great sense of humor about the <laughs> the subject yes yes and there you go and uh thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>